Hello everybody, Farm Sim Guy here. Hope you're all well. We are back with another map tour today. We have the very privileged position of being able to present to you Marksville, Wisconsin, by MRG Mapping, who has given us a, a first look, an early look at this before it goes live. He's hoping to get it uh, finished off the next couple of weeks, but um, we're very privileged to be able to have a look at it early for you. So let's jump in because I think this could be his best work yet. So here we are, Marksville, um, in Dane County, Wisconsin, and uh, we this is where you spawn when you first arrive in the game. So uh, let's have a quick look at the PDA, see what we've got available to us. Um, as with all MRG's uh, maps so far, it's a it's a standard size map uh, based on a real area uh, called Marksville in Wisconsin, and as you can see, some really interesting field shapes here. I love this um, odd shaped piece here, but uh, um, as well as that, you've got some nice square fields to work with, um, and it looks like there's some areas as well here that we can uh, till up and, and use to our own advantage and, and play how you want to play the game. So uh, we're obviously starting off in the middle of the map here. Uh, there's two main roads, one that runs across the map and one that runs down the map. It looks like there are four main farms here, uh, one down at the bottom, one in the middle, uh, one here, and one on the right-hand side as well. Um, if I zoom in a little bit, you can start to see the cell points there. So there is the shop here and the animal dealer. And I believe there's going to be a milk cell point here. Like I said, he's still working on this. This is a work in progress, so we're not completely finished yet. Um, but already it's looking really, really good. And over here, um, this is your um, grain cell point, your crop cell point. And you've also got a buy point there, I think, for fertilizers uh, and so on and so forth. So what we're going to do now, uh, we'll just jump over to the shop, buy ourselves a truck. And we'll have a little bit of a tour about so here we are here's the shop this is where you'll buy your machinery um, nice little yard here I think there's a lot of space here to um, get a few pieces of equipment in and this is your animal buy point as well so that's close by um, possibly I don't know yet there doesn't appear to be a spawn point yet but maybe somewhere to sell wood chips as well there interesting I shall ask him about that but let's jump in our truck let's go for a little bit of a tour about so one thing I think MRG does really, really well with all of his maps is this contouring of his of his fields and his land. It just feels really, really natural. So again, you can see it here, the dip and the ebbs and the flows of the land are really captured in this map, which I, which I really, really like. Now we are arriving at the first farm. So we're going to turn in here and just have a look at what we've got available to us here. Um, access to the fields looks easy, which is great for course play purposes. So what we've got here looks like a, a cattle farm. Um, silos in here for straw and silage. Now I do believe you would need to set up blowers for these and one of the things MRG has done is incorporated that into the zip file that you get. So you need to unzip the zip file when you get this map and he'll have a few extra tools in there like augers and a blower. To set up with your with your silos which is great um, small shed here I do believe the big cattle shed is just here around the corner so there you go that's where you can feed your animals down here another storage shed I do believe this is probably for your digestate or your slurry now let's just jump back in the truck and run further down. You can see the farmhouse here and more sheds. So let's go and have a look at those. I really like the field so close to the farm as well. That feels really nice. So yeah, there's a yard for your cattle there. Let's open up, let's open up a couple of these sheds just so you're inside. See the sort of space you've got to play with. Fit a decent amount of machinery in some of these. Another cattle yard there, potentially. Maybe for, for young livestock. And another barn here. Again, lots of space for machinery. Lovely farmhouse as well, like that. This feels really, um, really complete. Lots of foliage around. It just feels really, really natural. That's something MRG always does well is, is finish his maps so they feel really, really natural. Uh, garages there. You can jump into the garage as well. So you can park your uh, trucks in there. Another shed here. It's an interesting shed. 
Just over here, I do believe that's probably a silage bunker. Or a manure pit. That'll be manure, actually, won't it? Lovely. I mean, there's so much space around here. This is... Okay, is that a bit of a cow pasture? Yeah, this is the cow pasture here as well. So the cows can roam around outside as well. I do believe. So, farm one. Lots to see and do there. Definitely an animal farm. But obviously you can do arable crops and things from there as well. So let's jump back in the truck and let's head a little bit further along the road and check out one of the other farms. I mean, just that view there. Look at that. Look at that view just down there. Um, trees, you can see the other silos in the distance. Small fields as well, which is great. This will work really, really well as a one-player map or a starter map if you're just venturing into the game and you're picking up uh, modding and adding mods to your game for the first time. This could be one of those maps. So let's head out of here. We're going to hang a left. Again, you can see in the distance there that contouring I was talking about before. Just really, really nice. MRG has said he'll be putting uh, traffic on the map. So uh, we'll just enjoy it now before that madness starts. Classic Giants traffic. We know what that can be like. And here we are. This is the second farm. Probably the main farm. The biggest farm. Um, and you've got your... One of your cattle yards right there at the side of the road um, with your silos. We've got a, a young stockyard there, maybe again. Um, he has said actually that this uh, this silo here could potentially dump straight into this trough. He's still working out uh, the, the semantics of doing that, but that'd be a nice touch. One less job to do, hauling stuff around. So let's just pull in here. I love these fans on the doors as well. These buildings are really, really great. Um, but again, let's just have a look in some of these buildings. Uh, lovely big farm sheds, lots of animal space in here. Nice touch with the different colored gates as well. Not seen that too much, too often. So again here, silos, there's your slurry pit. Just some lovely detailing. But again, lots of shed space. Let's have a look in here. There's your milk tank as well. So you can assume that uh, that's where you'll drop your milk off. Nice amount of storage again. As always, he never skimps on storage on his farms. Thank you, MRG. Love you for that. Obviously, in my case, I would still just leave my tractors abandoned all over the yard. But it's nice to have the option, isn't it? More sheds down here, grain bin, just one grain bin. So maybe the focus of this farm is is much more based around animals than it is arable. But of course you've got the option to do both. Big silage pit there, that's nice to see. A really big silage pit. Get some serious amount of crop in that. Nice big farm shed there. So there you go, farm two. What's going on there? And then these lovely tracks down into the field, some empty space there. That looks like a pasture yard for cows. Look at the size of that. That's huge. It's lovely to see. Lots of space for cows. Um, and let's just let's just head down here a little bit, shall we? Um, so you can see some of the field shapes. Uh, look at the foliage at the side of the road here. I mean, I mean, look at the effort he's put into doing this to make it feel really natural. Love that. So good to see. There's a pond in the middle of that field there as well. So you've got to think about that when you're working around that field. As you would in real life. Lovely to see. It's like a real myriad of paths around here, in and out of the, uh, in and out of the fields. A nice pond there as well. Let's run back down here. Many different ways we could choose. But this is great. You know, if you really wanted to, you could start cutting these trees down and turning this into farmland. Lots of options. Love that. And and here we are. And we pop out next to the other farm. Let's just drive up here, actually. Again, there's your cattle yard. One of your cattle yards. Uh, water trough there. Can't see a feeding trough, so it's obviously maybe inside. Looks like it's got a few gates to add in still. Another harvest store here. Uh, and again, you would need to place... He's put a new Holland blower in the pack with the map when you get it, so you'll need to unzip that and install it. Uh, but that's great. 
Uh, milk tank there as well. Let me just jump out and have a look at that. Because I do believe... He's got a little milking parlour in here. Look at that. Love that. Love that attention to detail. Very nice indeed. Okay, let's head out of here. Past the farmhouse. And we are going to go left again. I'm going to run up to this next farm here again. You can see the barn. Uh, a couple of houses on the other side of the road as well. I'm loving this so far. So good. Another harvest store there. Uh, cattle yards again. So again, very cattle focused this map. Looks like it's one of those areas of the of the country where there's a lot of cattle work to do. And in here we have got a much bigger milking parlour. Look at that. But again, brilliant. Brilliant. Something I haven't done a lot of on FS19 is run a dairy farm. That could be a real that could be a real uh, opportunity on this map to run a real dairy farm with lots of cows. Again, another animal pasture over there. Slurry Point, you can see over in the distance. Down here, a couple of grain bins. Again, you're going to need augers for these. Good old school augers. Uh, into the fields here. Now that... Uh, that fence is tight to that field. That's interesting. That should be... Uh, that should be fun working that out with Corseplay. Maybe I'll tweak that before the map goes live. So head up here, more storage, lovely farmhouse again, uh, very in keeping with the map. Okay, let's just go left to the edge of the map to show you the entire width of the map. Um, just a few house placeables here, nice barn placeable there. 1974, nicely, nicely dated, weathered and aged barn. Um, and just another house here. Uh, very narrow fields as well. Look at these fields, they're great. So lots of different choices of field sizes here. Some big, some small. Um, I think 48 fields in total. That's a lot of fields to choose from, which is great. Um, look at the size of this cow pasture here as well. Isn't that fantastic? Love that. Great to see a load of cows roaming around in that. There's a lovely big field as well. I think these fields on the uh, this side of the map here. This one to the right and this one to the left look like lovely fields to work on. Um, and I'll just pan around as we're driving up here just to show you. Just It's a lovely, lovely map. The rolling hills in the background feel like they're in place. It's it's gorgeous. Gorgeous. Beautiful work, MRG, as always. Um, look, and there's a field divider there. Very narrow one. That separates those fields up. This is going to be fun playing with this, definitely. We head over this rise in the hill here, and we are coming down to the fourth and final farm. Again, we'll just stop and look over there. You can see the rolling hills and the and the fields off into the distance. Um, it's a quite an expansive map. Quite an expansive map. For It feels bigger than just a standard size map. It really, really does. So, here we are. Final farm. Big barn. Another farmhouse here. Lots of, uh, lots of red buildings here. Which is nice. What's that? Some of those signs on the wall there. They're interesting. Super Milk 2008. And Kenneth Canary Barn Clearers. Cleaners. Nice. Again, some storage in there. Looks like it could be hay storage, doesn't it? You put some bales in there nicely. And into here, another parlour. Yep. Even bigger parlour with a well down there. That reminds me of the farm I grew up on. Nice. And your milk tank. So there'll be a milk, I'm sure there'll be a milk load point on the other side. This is great. This is great. 
Animal barn. Feed point over there. And then you're into this expansive pasture. Another feed point there. And this goes on for a while. Um, this is going to be great to see animals roaming around in. Brilliant. Love to see it. Love to see it. And look back at the farm there. One to the main main buildings here. Manure point there. Pop a, pop a door. And there is your main cow barn. Place for cows in there. Run your feed through here. All these wooden, these timber frame barns. Brilliant. And we go through here. And uh, a couple, like I said, a couple of bins there. More storage. And some grain silos in there with a load point. That's nice. And an unload point. With the pipe that folds in and out. Nice touch, man. Nice touch. I think MRG would be the first to admit that he's... Uh, He's learning with every map he does, and and for me this is this is looking like it's got the potential to be his best work yet, and it just bodes really really well for the future. I know he's got other maps in development, and he's got um, the Lowry four times map, which which for me is a really exciting one that will be coming out next year. And MRG, uh, just a big thank you from me uh, for allowing me to have a little sneak peek at this before uh, you put it public, and um, you've just whetted my appetite even more for when this comes out. So couple of weeks down the line we'll all be playing this and uh, we'll be having a lot of fun with it look forward to this one guys because it's pretty special for now from me take care and i'll see you all again very soon bye for now <laughs>